Hello, my name is Joseph Lanasa and I am a technical writer for Synergy Advisors. Today I'd like to show you how Microsoft Rights Management Services, or Microsoft RMS, integrates with file classification infrastructure and work folders to protect data at rest. Microsoft RMS integrates with FCI and work folders to securely protect documents at rest in your organization. Protection will remain with documents no matter where they are located or how they are transferred. In this video, I will show you an overview of how these two applications can be used with RMS to apply document protection. FCI is a component of the file server server role in Windows Server 2008 R2 and later, and is a solution for file classification, management, and reporting. FCI scans through documents looking for sensitive information as defined by the administrator. As FCI discovers sensitive information, it classifies the documents and then can take action, such as deleting the file, protecting the file with RMS, or calling a PowerShell script on those documents that contain certain classifications. FCI can search for sensitive documents based on file location or specific content within the document. For example, you could configure FCI to look for a string that includes particular keywords, phrases, or a number pattern, such as that which would indicate a social security or credit card number. So how does FCI and RMS integration work? First, an administrator creates classifications which are used to tag documents. For example, you could create a series of classifications based on business impact, such as high and low business impact. Then, the administrator creates classification rules which indicate the different triggers that cause documents to be classified. Finally, the administrator implements file management tasks which apply a particular action, in this case protecting with RMS, to documents with particular classifications. Now I'd like to demonstrate how this can work in an organization. In this example, you will see how you can protect documents that contain PCI, such as a credit card number. Let's start on a client computer where Patrick has just finished editing two documents, one of which contains a credit card number. Notice that each document is unprotected. Patrick's company policy dictates that financial information must be secured and therefore has implemented FCI policies to ensure this protection. The other document does not contain sensitive information. Now, Patrick will save them to the file server. Notice that when Patrick refreshes the File Explorer window, the file size of the Word document increases. RMS protection has been applied to the document based on the FCI policy. Patrick will open this document, and you can see the banner stating that the document is protected. Patrick now opens the other document, which has remained unprotected due to the absence of a credit card number. Now we will watch as Rick accesses the file server, where Patrick has just saved these documents. As Rick opens the document, notice that it has remained protected. Rick will click View Permission, and you can see that granular permissions are enforced based on company policy. Now let's look at this process from the perspective of the administrator. I'll open the File Server Resource Manager, which is a feature within the File Server role. Here we find the FCI components that were just used to protect the documents Patrick was working with. I'll review the classification properties, and you can see the three different properties we discussed earlier. Next, I'll open the classification rule, which applies the HBI property to files that contain a 16-digit number pattern. I could add additional string or number patterns here as well. Let's review the file management task. Notice that this task applies a rights policy template to files that have been classified as having high business impact. Administrators can manually run these file management tasks and generate reports on the protection applied. I'll click Run File Management Task and view this report in Internet Explorer. You can see that this task has protected one document with the Finance Rights Policy template. I've just demonstrated how you can use FCI and RMS integration to protect documents at rest in sensitive file servers. Now let's look at how you can integrate FCI, RMS, and the new work folder solution to extend automatic classification and protection to your users. Work folders is a file server based sync solution in Windows Server 2012 R2 and Windows 8.1 that allows users to access files from a company file server on multiple devices at any time. Any modifications to the files are automatically synced to the master copy located in the file server. This solution is similar to folder redirection, however, it adds support for mobile devices and uses HTTPS protocol rather than the SMB protocol. Work Folders eliminates the need for the end user to manually upload documents. 
With work folders, documents are actually saved to a file server and therefore can be managed with file server technologies such as FCI, using the processes we just demonstrated. In this demonstration, we will search for and protect information about finances within the organization. Now let's take a look at how this works in the organization. Rick has logged on to a computer where he has just finished creating an unprotected document that contains the phrase income, which is considered sensitive information in his organization and should be protected. He'll save the document to his work folders file store, which will, behind the scenes, store the document on the file server. To Rick, it will appear that the file is stored locally on his computer. Work folders is synchronizing Rick's files with those stored on the file server. Using the control panel, Rick can force a synchronization at any time. FCI is now looking through these new documents to see if they contain any sensitive information. It will find the key phrase income, which will trigger a rule in FCI to apply RMS protection to the file. Now that FCI has completed protecting the document, work folders will synchronize the protected files and they will appear in Rick's work folders file store. He'll open the documents he saved earlier, and you can see that those with income are now protected. FCI has discovered the sensitive information and protected the file. I've just demonstrated how you can use FCI, work folders, and RMS integration to protect documents at rest in your organization, both on file servers with FCI and synchronized client computers with work folders. Synergy Advisors provides consultancy and training focused on information protection with Microsoft RMS. For more information on how Microsoft RMS can simplify your information protection needs, please visit our website at synergyadvisors.biz or the Microsoft RMS website at microsoft.com/rms. Thank you for watching.